usually say is that in 10 years we won't be calling it the sharing economy anymore. It's just the economy and, and how we do things. Um, because there's a strong need for us to learn and, and optimize our resources. And I think the sharing economy is more of a mindset that we need to get used to. Um, and obviously that talks into a lot of sort of mega trends, right? That we want things on demand uh, when we need it and customized and personalized and all these things. I think that people expect more personality than they used to in the services they receive. So if I rent someone's home through Airbnb or I borrow a car from my neighbour, I expect loads of connection, authenticity and interactions with real people. And I think that has affected how people relate to the businesses in their lives. I also think that the sharing economy is changing the boundaries between individuals and businesses. So it's no longer the case that there are businesses and there are individuals. The sharing economy is enabling a whole generation of micro-entrepreneurs. Well, trust is obviously what um, makes the wheel go round in the sharing economy. Uh, and we know that reputation is actually the strongest factor in building trust in these sharing economy transactions. And in fact, even if you transfer your reputation across platforms, that's also a strong indication of building trust. So based on all the research that we've been doing and that's going on in the industry, um, we've actually made it possible for users to take their reputation across different platforms, but also allow uh, platforms in the industry to verify their users based on the reputation that they have. And so that helps increase trust levels and obviously that increases activity and revenue for the platforms as well. So I think the sharing economy by definition is really environmentally friendly. It helps people make better use of uh, limited resources or the things in their lives. But what we do at Forest Car, and we are an airport car sharing service, so we provide car owners with free airport parking in exchange for renting out their cars while they're away. We also invest a share of our income into reforestation, um, and planting trees is also really positive for the environment. So we take the environmental benefits that are already in the sharing economy and take them way farther. Well, there's a lot being written about the changing nature of ownership, so I don't need to repeat that here, but I think the world of one person being insured for one thing for a really long period of time is fundamentally dying. And it's far more interactive, far more dynamic um, use of cars, homes, anything in people's lives, and loads of other different user groups. And those new behaviours and new transactions all need to be insured, and insurers really need to catch up, otherwise they're going to be left behind.